Have you ever been in this situation? Because I, uh, I know that I have. Um, you've, you've popped out of a meeting or you've, um, you know, maybe you just checked out mentally for a couple of seconds, but you've misunderstood something and you never quite get back from that point. Um, there's something that happens in our business, a key bit of information, and I know that it gets regularly misunderstood. Uh, I know it because we often spend up to a day with a client or a potential client or some, some a group of landlords or whatever. And we, we talk about this practically all day. Then right at the end of the day, somebody will ask a question and I think, oh, you just didn't get that because otherwise you wouldn't have asked that question. Um, it's no problem. You know, we, we, that's, what, that's what we're there for. It's good that it happens. That's what the day's for. Um, but it does mean that I know that this gets misunderstood often. So I repeat it often. Uh, it's this really, really simply. There is no other way to build a profitable portfolio unless you know this. Um, there's a couple of red her herrings. We'll come on to those because there are some ways you can kind of grind it out and just make it happen through um, sheer determination. But I think after five, 10, 15 properties, you've kind of got to your limit um, building and, and it will be hard at that. And once you know the right way, why would you not do it the right way? So what is it? And it's really simply this, there's just two bullet points you need to write down and then you need to make sure that every single property you buy from this point on meets both these two, two criteria. The first one is never buy a property for what it's worth. And you want 20% margin in it, as simple as that. Buy a property for 20% less than it's worth. Bullet point number one. Bullet point number two, make sure that that property will rent out for a profitable amount every month. And we like a single at house to rent for, um, well, they rent for sort of five to 600 pounds a month, which means that we make a net profit of about 250 pounds per calendar month. Um, maybe a bit more, some of mine make sort of three, 330, that kind of money. Um, and if it's an HMO, a house in multiple occupation, you will want it to net about 800 to 1,000 pounds. So, the number one golden rule, never buy a property for what it's worth. And number two, almost like the caveat to that is, or um, the qualifier to that is, once you've done it, it still needs to make money every month. Um, easier than said than done, you know? It's, um, it's one of those things where um, there's quite a bit that goes into something as simple as that, but uh, you really need to be strict. Um, I said that there are some red herrings. I, I regularly see people who, you know, they've got, They've got so far, but they've saved a deposit, they've bought a house. They've saved up another deposit and they've bought a house. They've probably got a good job or a business that's paying some money and they're using it as a property property savings bank account. And now there's nothing wrong with that, of course. There's nothing wrong with that at all and it works really well. Um, but buy to let, if you, if you do it that way, works really well. Buy to let, doing it our way with this 20% margin, it's turbocharged and that's why I get so excited about it. And that's why you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm able to be full-time in property because of this, it gives you something to work at. Because if you can buy a house for less than it's worth, then by the time, and I might say it's not quite as easy as that, of course we know when you dig into it, you've got to buy the house for less than it's worth and you've almost certainly got to do some work, a renovation to get that 20% margin. You're not going to be able to just walk up to somebody and say, I'll give you 20% less for your house and expect them to take it. They probably won't. You're probably gonna to have to search hard for the house to start off with and then do a renovation on it. But but when you can do that and you get your 20% margin, then think about the builder. Builders do it all the time. We, we, know, we know they do it, we see them do it. Um, they buy a house, do it up and then sell it and they make a profit and they'll probably make about 20%. They make, might make ever so slightly more, but don't forget they've got the luxury of, of um, being able to do an ever so slightly different house. Um, we, we have to buy a house that at the end of this is still gonna make some money every month because we're gonna keep it. But still, that builder buys a house, does it up, sells it, makes a profit. Now, if you're that clever, but with a rental house, a buy-to-let house, you buy it, you do it up, but you don't sell it. You just send the bank around there and say, can you agree that this is worth more money now? Then that extra, that equity, you can use that basically as your deposit. So you go to refinance, and this will give you the turbo charge to your um, uh, your property portfolio. Um, okay, it does now beg the question, where do you find these properties? Um, it's not easy. 
The answer is there are some places in the UK where this works and there are some places where it just doesn't work. You might be in the unfortunate position that um, you are just too far away from a from a location where this works. If you live more than, what, 30, 40 minutes away, then is it going to be worth your time and effort? And are you even going to be on a, available and, and on hand to... Um, uh, to get to these places. Uh, I started, personally, I started investing in Northampton. I'll be a very hard push to uh, buy in Northampton anymore. Uh, last week, we bought in uh, sort of the Liverpool, Manchester area, um, Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire. We're spreading our wings and we're having to, to find these properties. Um, it's, this is the main reason that people do not build a property portfolio the right way. It's because it's hard to find these properties. And that's where a company like our company comes in. Now, um, this is not an overt sales pitch. Um, if you're watching this, then um, you probably already know a little bit about us and uh, um, I'd like you to find out more. Every client is important to us, but we certainly yeah, we don't need any more clients. The struggle for us to, is to find the properties, hence we we're looking all over. I'd much rather speak to people and teach them this uh, and inspire them to go ahead and do it. Uh, and if they use our company, great. And if they don't, I'd still be much, much happier that they're buying the right property in the right area. Um, it's our job to find these properties. That's, that's, that's what we do as a business. Um, we charge a tiny fee for this. Um, you know, I, I think it's, 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 you know, it's, it's 40 pounds an hour, something like that when you add it all up, because there's a lot of time and effort goes into to finding these kind of properties. Um, but I get frustrated when I see potential clients buying the wrong house in the wrong area, um, making some renovation mistakes. Um, they overpay on the property. They, they rent the property out for a, a lower yield than we'd get. They end up with a much inferior product all for the sake of saving some fees, which honestly, if you do it properly and we buy the right house in the right area, we'd save many times over. Plus, <laughs> you get to uh, you get your time back as well. Um, I, I don't care if you use our service or not. Um, of course I care, but whether you do or don't, what I mean is if you want to come and see us and chat this through, I don't care if you waste my time, it's fine. You won't be. If I can teach one or two people how to do it properly, you go off and do it yourself, then uh, I am very, very happy with that and I'm very happy to do that as well. So uh, be in touch. Um, it does lead me on to another pro uh, um, uh, point and I have got a, a, an ulterior motive to doing this as well. Um, I know that there is a, a growing band of people out there that we've met in the past and um, we've had this kind of conversation but you haven't become a client of ours but you are buying properties out there and you're probably at the cusp now where you're trying to go full-time in, in property you can see it works but you know you're not quite there and we need to buy the houses all over the UK we're a growing business and I want to grow the business and um, we, we need to find people who are Having, ha having success at this already. Uh, landlords who are already building their own portfolio and we need to partner with them. We've got a franchise partner program where it's already well underway. Uh, it's providing uh, over half of all the properties we find at the moment are coming from our franchise partners. Uh, they're successful landlords in their own right, building portfolios and they've got the key experience to find, fix and rent. So this isn't for newbies. But if you put yourself in that group, and you think that you could find the kind of properties that we've outlined, um, you know, they're usually under £100,000, um, they need a bit of work, and you need to be able to renov um, manage that renovation and then rent them out for a profit every month. If you can find those kind of properties, do be in touch with us, because we're looking, um, looking for, you, for, for people like you to, uh, to partner with. Um, it could be your route to, to go in full-time full -time in property. Um, okay, so... Let's get on with the COVID update, shall we? Uh, I think there's only two things we need to discuss today, and it's the buying and it's the renting. Um, I've got the KPR report in here. It's mainly green stuff. There's a few, few, uh, few ambers. I'm trying to outline the ambers, um, outlaw the ambers. You know what's the? You see the, you see they're on or off, red or green. But there is still a few bits of amber on there because uh, well, it just lends itself to the KPI, I suppose. But uh, buying. So finding the houses to investing. We're seeing lots of bargains coming in our way. Um, 
for various reasons. It's all a bit weird out there. I keep calling it the twilight zone, but for whatever reason, we're buying well. Uh, there's still a queue, unfortunately. We're getting through it. You know, we've got more clients waiting than we can find houses for, hence the need to find franchise partners. Uh, but we are steadily getting through that backlog. Um, there's still a queue there. You can join the queue. There'll be a little um, subscribe or but not subscribe, a, a queue button below this video. I'm sure the, the roars is. There has been for the last couple of weeks. Um, and then renting. When it comes to actually renting the properties out, um, our team stayed open throughout lockdown and uh, we were renting throughout they did a, a sterling job obviously they weren't allowed to go in properties it was all virtual viewings um something that was new to us and new to tenants alike uh, but we kept the, the void rate a lot lot lower than uh, we had anticipated at the start of it however they were only at half pace which was understandable uh, we saw lots of tenants leaving as well so we weren't renting quite as many as we would normally and more tenants were leaving We've got more voids than usual and it's been the same for the last three weeks um and the last two videos i've done like this it's been we've got a we've got a backlog and we know it so as of last week we tripled the viewing capacity um we kept the virtual viewings as well which also adds to the capacity and our aim is to clear the entire backlog by the end of july um the team got a great head start last week i think there's 17 properties done so um that's that's pretty good for a week um so yeah that's that's the update on that and uh, we know that it's something that's that's pressing um the team are absolutely flat out on it they know it's a priority so that's the update today um be in touch with us to make sure um you get an absolute 100 percent accurate idea of what the right property is don't buy anything else um it's, it, yeah, just don't buy anything else. That's it. That's the end of the message. I was going to cap it up with something else. Just it, understand exactly what you need to buy. Don't buy anything else. If you're not sure what that is because you misunderstood it at any point, come and see us and we will set you straight and you get all your property property um, uh, questions answered. Uh, don't be scared of paying fees. They're small in relation to your gains. Um, you need to consider your potential downside as well. If you make some mistakes... Also, don't forget to factor in your time, you know. If you're good at doing something and get you get paid well for doing it, why try and learn something that you might not be any good at and it's a new skill? Just stick with what you know and earn the money over there. What we do is a relatively small hourly fee. Um, and finally, we are seriously looking for franchise partners. We're only looking for 25 in total. Uh, you must be experienced. You must live close to the area where you invest, and it must be an investable area, of course. Um, so this isn't something for newbies. Um, it's not a big sales pitch either. We got a few questions. We sent, sent an email out on this subject last week, and we got a few questions back saying, you know, what's the buy-in? Um, there isn't one. Um, we only need 25 franchise partners, and they've got to work. And um, I want them to be successful, um, serious capable people um people who can find fix and rent our kind of properties so we're not looking to sell franchises or anything like that these are um serious landlords who know what they're doing and um that's the way we're growing our business throughout the uk um we're getting a good good footprint in the uk already and that is the way that we're going to keep buying these properties with these fundamental numbers be in touch and uh, we'll speak to you uh, next week Bye for now.